Hello everyone, it is Saturday, August 25th in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome. It's Saturday, it's the weekend, it's the song, beer is good for you. Damn right it is. And before we even do that, we gotta do the unofficial sponsors of the show. And start right off with my man Wally Fortier. That's right, Wally, Wally's aluminum shaping process. Because it's not Wally's ass sculpting process. Although I'm sure he wouldn't mind that. If she's hot. If he was single, of course. But anyway, he'll make all kinds of aluminum art, whatever you want. Uh, Facebook.com slash WASPA. That'd be W A S P A A. And there's that. And of course, my good friend Tom Walk. That's W-A-L-K-E, not walkie, not waka, walk. And there's all the different stuff that he makes here in Yeehaw, Texas, where men are men and the bulls aren't scared. Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. And then, of course, my good friend, Crystal Lloyd Dozani, K.J. Lloyd, O'Connell Gold Coffee, and uh, great way to start the day or the night or whatever have you. And let me tell you something. You need to go to the website, like the Facebook page, Crystal Addiction. That's K R Y A S K R Y S T A L. It's the first word. Addiction. A D D I C T I O N. Just pull that up. Look at that page. She's showing off an item that she's wearing for a photo shoot, her next photo shoot, where she is a uh, 50 style pinup model, and that corset that she's wearing is gorgeous. All oh, she's wearing is lingerie, one piece corset, gorgeous, red with black, folks, you gotta check it out, she is hot, wicked hot, not as hot as my wife, but not too bad either, so, and she's also a published poet, and in comic books, woman's got skills, and she worked on aerospace ground equipment for a living when I worked with her in jolly old England, how cool is that, wow, I mean, she gets dirty too, always dig a woman that's dirty, I'm so lucky I'm married to a good woman, a great woman, a perfect woman. And beer is good for me. With that said, let's bust it out, baby. The beer of the day. Ranger India Pale Ale from New Belgium Brewing Company. Fort Collins, Colorado. I know, Justin. Weak. Not every day I'm going to get that pop at 45 degree angle, of course. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes. But folks, before I do that, okay, there's something very important I must do. For we lost a true American icon today, August 25th in the year of our Lord 2012. And that would be the great Neil Armstrong. And folks, before I take a sip of this here beer, I want to have a moment of silence for our man, Neil Armstrong. Passed away today at the age of 82. Um, real bummer. And... Uh, Basically, complications from heart surgery. Bummer. Awful. Bypass surgery. Him, Michael Collins, and Edward Edward Buzz Aldrin, Aldrin, all born in 1930, and the first of the three to pass away is indeed Neil Armstrong. That's a bummer. Rest in peace, Neil Armstrong. Moment of silence for you, please. Amen. And he is in a better place than us. I would imagine. I would hope. For that. Neil Armstrong. Buzz Aldrin. Michael Collins. Now I just. It's funny because I just tagged my friend Buzz Aldrin in a video just a few days ago. And now. You know. I'm not going to tag him in today's video. I'm sure he's got a lot better things to focus on right now. But. I got to say. Cheers and beers to Neil Armstrong. And the crew of Apollo 11. As well as cheers and beers to all of you. And as they say in Japan. Goodbye. With that said. Let's.
consumed from the beer apparatus, the consumption apparatus. Mm. And this one's 7.8%, by the way. And so it's a good beast of a beer. And by the way, oh, I lied. 6.5%. I was wrong. Oops. I can't remember which one was 7.8 then. There's one that's 7.8. Hmm. Well, Ranger IPA is better than uh, Bel Belgio or whatever the hell it was that I drank the other day that was <sighs> a little rougher. This one's got that slight rough edge, but not as bad. All right, anyway, let's get to the birthdays, folks. And we're going to start right off with a wonderful lady, Joanne LaRock. And uh, I have yet to meet her in person. But happy birthday, Joanne. Joyeux anniversaire. Oh, boy. I hope I didn't mess that up. I know it's French. And uh, je ne peux pas français très bien, madame. But I will say, joyeux anniversaire. Anniversary. Hey, boy, I'm screwing up. I'm tired tonight. I woke up at, I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning. Ugh. And it's already eight thirty at night, and I gotta stay up late and do Sunday show before I go to bed. Ugh. But anyway, Joanne, I know from uh, Mafia Wars on the old Facebook. That's right, and all those other great apps. Haven't met her in person yet, but she seems wicked cool, way cool, awesome lady. Miss Shonton Janille, a.k.a. Wicked Awesome, which means that is outstanding. Very good. Très bien. However you like it. But, uh, happy birthday. I hope, you have a, hope you've had an awesome day. Next on the list, how about a shout out to the awesome, outstanding Ann Egger. Happy birthday to you. And a shout out to your lesser half for still awesome hubby, Greg. Greg Egger. Greg Egger. I love that name. Greg Egger. Gregor. Greg and Ann, and the better half of the Egger family, but both are still phenomenal folks, and Greg, I hope you've spoiled your lady well. See, I work with Ann and Greg here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Eastern New Mexico. Yup. Squeeze me. But Ann, I hope you've had a phenomenal birthday. Greg, I hope you've spoiled her, and I hope you two have a wicked awesome night. Celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list. My man, Greg Marshall. I've known him for 30 years. Martha's Vineyard Regional High School class of 1991. There we go, Greg. That's right. And uh, I hope you've had a phenomenal birthday. I remember meeting you in 1982. My brother and I were in summer school. Tisbury School. Why? I don't even know. But anyway. Met you and... Yvonne Pont and Ralph and Kim Raquena and I remember Betsy, one of the one of the teachers, the other teacher, Mrs. Peg Johnson. And uh Yep, I've never forgotten you folks. And Greg, I definitely haven't forgotten you. And obviously a fellow graduate of Martha's Vineyard Regional High High School class of nineteen ninety one, the best graduating high school in the history of mankind. High school class. No doubt about it. We all know how awesome we were. And uh, it's still hard today. But Greg, I hope you've had a phenomenal birthday. Cheers and beers to you, my man. Next on the list. Now here's a guy I no longer work with here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Western Louisiana. The Honorable um, Tanner Scarborough. Defensive avionics as opposed to comical navicus, which is what Greg and Ann are. But, see, Tanner moved to South Carolina, otherwise known as Northern Georgia. Charleston, he's living there now. And Tanner, happy birthday, brother. And I hope you're working on that uh, singing career of yours. I hope you are. Dude, here's what you got to do. Post up some of your videos of you singing. Just put it on my link. Put it on my page. I want to check it out, all right? Our man Dylan Jarvis did that, and I'll tell you what, that man's got some serious skills. I want to see who's better. See, Dylan's, Dylan's got some exceptional singing skills, as well as guitarmanship. Awesome. Talented, and he does it for the pure enjoyment of it, and doesn't want to become famous. 
I always say some of the best talent in the world is never recorded. Oh my goodness, speaking of recording, we're already at 10 minutes. I haven't even gotten to the facts of the day or nothing. How about the next birthday? And cheers and beers to you, Tanner. Hope you've had a wicked awesome day. This next birthday is a big one. Milestone. Dwayne Elders. What's up, Dwayne? How you doing, brother? Fellow Gat God. Works him in jolly old England. He's living out in uh, North Kakalaki, otherwise known as Southern Virginia. And I uh, hope you're doing well out there, Dwayne. And I uh, hope you've had a phenomenal birthday. Miss working with you. Definitely great keeping in touch with you. We've done a good job on that on the old Facebook. Hey, a stranger a, a is a friend you haven't yet met. Well, that's true, too. But remember this. Um, you can get anywhere in the world in 24 hours or less. And remember when uh, John McNamara was going cross-country? Going from where you live? Because he lives out in the area? That's right. He came to visit me in here in Yeehaw, Texas. And you know what? Dwayne, you're always welcome to drop by at this here place. Where we got great food, a spare room, and uh, good weather most of the time. A little hot, though. But, Dwayne, cheers and beers, my man. Welcome to my age bracket. I won't be in it very long. 30. 30 for dirty. Dirty Dwayne, that's right. And uh, hope you enjoyed, brother. Party hard and enjoy. Next on the list, how about a happy birthday to the lovely Tony Rhodes. Total sweetheart, awesome lady. Sadly, my wife and I only got to meet her a short time before we moved away from jolly old England. But she's holding down jolly old England for us. Her and her lesser half, but still amazing man, Ray Rhodes. And I'm not talking the former Philadelphia Eagles head coach either. No, nope, this is Ray Rhodes. WWRD, what would Ray Rhodes do? What would Ray Rhodes do if he was president of the United States? I bet you he'd do this. He'd clean this country up. That's what he'd do, because Ray Rhodes is that damn good. Ray Rhodes is like Ronald Reagan. What would Ronald Reagan do? What would Ray Rhodes do? Same thing. Badasses. And you know what? Ray, I hope the Niners do well this year. Big 49ers fan he is. And uh, a damn good man. Crudo! Ray, I miss you. Same for you, Tony. Ray, you better treat that woman right for her birthday. I know it's no longer... Uh, August 25th in uh, jolly old England. But damn it. Celebrate every day like it's her birthday. Treat the woman like royalty. You treat the woman right, she'll treat you right. If not, she'll never be, she, you should have never been born. Period. Dot. End of story. That, that's philosophy. A happy wife makes for a happy life. Quote the love doctor. I know what I'm talking about. With that said, how about a happy birthday to my man, uh, Cho DeFortu. Dude. How you doing, man? Miss hearing you on the old radio in jolly old England. But uh, definitely got some mic skills. A badass, great man. Um, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. But do me a favor. If you're still working on the radio, drop a wicked awesome out there once in a while for me. All right? Let them know the le legend of the love doctor still lives in England. Okay? Because I haven't left, baby. Only physically, but not mentally. But anyway, happy birthday to you. And I hope you've partied hard and enjoyed. Speaking of partying hard and enjoyed, I guarantee this man has. Because he's celebrating a milestone. The big 2-0! My man Darius Garner. What's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. Personnelist. I worked with in jolly old England. Still living over there. Last I checked. Working with an amazing Patriots fan by the name of Michelle Clemish, who I miss very much as well. And, uh, Darius, I hope you've had a phenomenal day, brother. And I hope you're doing well. Hopefully right now you're done partying. You found a lovely lady and you're laying with her and playing some Barry White or some Marvin Gaye or something. Oh, yeah. You do what you gotta do, brother. Alright. Cheers and beers to you. Miss the hell out of you. And... Hope it's been a phenomenal day. With that said, I gotta give it up to my man Marcus McRae. Now this schlepper didn't tell me that his birthday was two days ago. His birthday was the same day, August 23rd, as my friend Stephanie Carpenter. 
Okay. And I yelled to her happy birthday. And I didn't even know it was his birthday. Damn, Marcus. Should have told the doctor that. Shame on you, schmuck. But anyway, happy birthday from two days ago, my man. And uh, hope you enjoy the show. It's going to be well worth watching. Because you're a damn good man. Badass. Got gold. AI. Instruments. Pure quantity master. Whatever you want to be. I know you're a BMF. Bad mofo. And, uh, dude. Cheers and beers, my man. I hope you party hard and enjoy. Mm. And also, if anybody back home on the Great Island, the Martha's Vineyard's watching this, anybody who knows a great man by the name of Mo Bresnahan, it was his birthday two days ago. And I didn't get a chance to give him a shout out on this here show. I didn't forget his birthday. I just forgot it at that time. But I know that uh, I don't think he's on Facebook. I've looked a bunch of times. But if anybody talks to my phenomenal 6th, 7th grade history teacher, Mo Bresnahan. I mean, one of the greatest teachers I've ever had in my life. One of the greatest teachers I've known. The guy is just absolutely phenomenal. Awesome man. Happy birthday two days ago. Mr. Mo Brez and uh, Mr. the hell out of you, bud. And I hope you're doing well. And I hope you get to watch the show. If somebody is in touch with him, just shoot him, shoot him my link. YouTube.com slash Red Bosox. That's R-E-D-B-O-S-O-X. Tell him, I know he should have been looking for the August 23rd episode, but tell him his birthday episode is two days late, but late is better than never. August 26th episode. With that said... Let's get to the facts of the day, and, uh, well, how about some celebrity birthdays first? How about 1970, Claudia Schiffer, that wicked hot, gorgeous German supermodel that I remember, I thought she was hot, and I don't dig the supermodel thing, but she was smoking. I wonder how she looks today at 42. I haven't looked. I'll have to check that out. Uh, weird director, phenomenal though, Tim Burton, happy birthday to you. He's 54 today, born in 1958 on this day. And here's a man born August 25th of 1950. Wow. Elvis Costello. Weird, slightly overrated in my opinion, uh, pop singer from the 70s. I don't know. He was good, but not great. Great would be like Chuck Berry. That's great. This guy's pretty great, though. On his day, 1949, Gene Simmons was born. Yeah. I got about a quarter of the tongue that man has. All right. Happy birthday, Gene. And on this day, 82 years ago today, the great legend himself was born, Sean Connery. That's right. The stud. And women still find him attractive today. The man's aged quite well. 82, going strong. The very first James Bond, of course, 1962 movie. Dr. No. Although, I think there was actually a James Bond in 1950. Oh. I have to look up on that one. Not sure. Maybe that was the book. I can't remember. Anyway. And finally, on this day, 1972, celebrating a milestone, 40 years old today, former uh, Indianapolis Colt badass wide receiver Marvin Harrison, who I know my friend Justin Dimmitt will appreciate that birthday big time. Justin, what's the matter, Brother. Did you forget about that one? I didn't, because I are smart. And I know a legend when I see it. And Justin, you are a legend. Cheers and beers to you, my friend. And Marvin Harrison, phenomenal, phenomenal receiver. No doubt about it. All right. Ooh, a couple more birthdays. Almost forgot to mention them. Raleigh Fingers, 66 years old today. Who's he, Dr. B? You know that legendary relief pitcher, Hall of Famer, Raleigh Fingers, the one with the curly mustache, still wears it to this day. Milwaukee Brewers, Oakland A's, yeah, San Diego Padres, Raleigh Fingers, still going strong, 66 years old, just played in the old-timers game recently, too. Still going strong, awesome stuff. And then, 91 years old today. Some sources have him listed as 87, some have it as 89, some have it as 91. I believe it's 91, though. Either way, 
The man's a legend. In great shape for his age. <laughs> Monty Hall. And if you don't know who Monty Hall is, let's make a deal. Think about it. That's right. Phenomenal game show. Very popular. 1970s predominantly. Came back out in the 80s. Originally started in 1963. In color, by the way. I've seen it on YouTube. Look up the uh, 1963 episode of Let's Make a Deal. Pretty impressive. And uh, also check out the episode of Let's Make a Deal that he did a few years ago at the age of 88. Phenomenal shape for his age. All right, and he's 91 now. Still going strong. With that said, some quick random facts of the day. On this day in 1986, Mark McGuire hit his very first home run ever. Then he started juicing. Maybe he was juicing even before then. Who knows? He hit 506, uh, 573 of them, if I'm not mistaken. Same amount as uh, Hyman Killebrew. What did he hit 563 like uh, Reggie Jackson? Ah, around there. Either way, they don't count anyway. On this day in 1985, Dwight Gooden, otherwise known as Doc Gooden, of course, youngest pitcher ever to get the 20 wins. In a season. He was 20 years, 9 months, and 9 days old when that happened. On this day in 1981, Mark David Chapman was sentenced to 20 years. Who's that guy? He's the asshole that killed uh, John Lennon on December 8th, 1980. And I remember watching that. I actually remember seeing that on the news. December 8th, 1980. And uh, didn't really know who John Lennon was at the time. Hey, I was 7. Give me a break. I wasn't all that familiar with the Beatles. I knew who they were, but I didn't realize who the four members of the Beatles were back then. It was only, it was that day that I found out. And, uh, yeah, definitely a sad day, no doubt about it. On this day in 1979, Somalia adopted their constitution. Happy Independence Day. On this day in 1973, Zambia adopted their constitution. Happy Independence Day. On this day in 1967, Paraguay accepted their constitution. Does that mean happy anniversary, uh, Independence Day too? Hell, I don't know. On this day, 1960, this one's a cool one. August 25th, 1960, the AFL, not the Arena Football League, that would be the American Football League, which became the AFC after the 1970 season. They placed names on the back of the jerseys, and I think that's the first sports um, teams to ever do that. I know certainly for football it was. Baseball, I don't think had it yet. Basketball and hockey, I don't believe so either. Check me on that if somebody would, please. 60 years ago today, 1952, Puerto Rico became a United States Commonwealth. 60 years later, they still haven't become a state. What gives? On this day in 1940, the first parachute wedding occurred. Awesome. On this day in 1922, I don't know if this is a record or not to this day. If it is, that's amazing. The Chicago Cubs beat the Philadelphia Phillies 26-23. Holy smokes. 49 runs combined. I think that's still a record today. Not certain, though. 100 years ago today, this one's kind of cool because it's the centennial anniversary of it. The first aircraft to recover from a spin. How about that? First time an airplane ever spun and recovered. Pretty cool. And then finally, on this day in 1609, a big one. Galileo Galilei demonstrated the first telescope ever to Venetian lawmakers. We couldn't live without him today, folks. No doubt about that. How about the movie of the day? This is hot. Wicked hot. And it's, it's a classic story. A small town girl seeks Hollywood fame with a sexually charged twist. If you're a good girl, you can watch this what it says. Now, it wasn't the most exciting movie in the world. But I remember... Always check it out a website, Uncle Scoopy, from 1997 on, and uh, lots of celebrity news. And this one, this movie's from 1996. Allison is watching. Okay, Saturday night, <laughs> cheesy movie night. Why not? Now, see, the thing about it is, Allison is played by the sexy, and I do mean sexy, innocent, gorgeous Jennifer Lee Hammond. I know you probably haven't heard of her. Um, I remember her having a acting credit for um, General Hospital, Doctor. 
something Wexler Cates or something like that. But uh, she never really made it as an actress. But oh god, she's hot. Wicked hot. So, Justin, let's make her the babe of the day too, right? Why not? That's her. Right there. Born March 7th, 1973. Some sources said 1976. I don't know who that... I don't know if that's her too. I'm not certain on that. I thought that was the other chick. I haven't watched this movie since I bought it years and years ago, but... I bought it a long time ago. There's, there's a nice bra and panty pick for you. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that ain't her. I don't believe so. But anyway, I haven't seen the movie in forever, so I really couldn't describe it to you. Recommendation? Look for it. See if you can find it. Allison is watching. Or look for uh, Jennifer Lee Hammond. That's J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R L-E-I-G-H Hammond, H-A-M-M-O-N. Look for that. Look for nudies of that. You'll find them. I pretty much guarantee it. If not, hit me up on the old YouTube at youtube.com slash redbowsocks or hit me up on the old Facebook at facebook.com slash redbowsocks and uh, shoot me your email address and I will email pictures because I have pictures of her. <laughs> yeah, baby, I do. All right. And they're not clothed either well topless okay with that said let's get to the song of the day and this one's a real treat folks it is a milestone song for the late this great man the man in black yep i'm talking about johnny cash and uh sadly passed away at the age of 71 in, in 2003 born february 26 1932 now this song is from 1954. His very first song ever. Wide Open Road, Rockabilly slash Hillbilly slash Country, whatever you want to call it, this song is just kick ass. Here you go. Well, you said you had enough. You said that you were leaving. I said, shove off, honey, baby. I ain't grieving. One thing I know about. One thing I know about Johnny Cash, regardless of what type of music people listen to, I think everybody loves and respects the music of Johnny Cash. Whether you listen to country, rap, alternative, pop, um, doo-wop, blues, rhythm and blues, gospel, rockabilly, hillbilly, zydeco, surf, punk, death metal. I think everybody likes this stuff. I know I do. If you stick around and turn your damper down, or there's a wide open road. Well, the reason I was looking for you all over town was to tell you that your kitty cat was still around and you left your wedding ring when you went down that wide open road. If you're gonna stay away, then honey, let me know hmm. how to cook hot. I don't even know if we're gonna get an instrumental break on this song. It's a well, short song. Gone crazy since I told you to go down a wide open road. There's a wide open road, and maybe I want you to know. You can look down south or you can turn back home and there's a wide open road. Wow, no instrumental break. That's a rare one. But what a great tune, huh? You're damn right. 1954, Johnny Cash. Looks like a 30-minute episode today, folks, because we're going to hit it as we do our thing. You know what time it is. That's right, folks. It's time to make like a fetus and head out, so everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink, or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan, and what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli L. I'm as good as Tom Brady. 
manning or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. And uh, the Red Sox have officially blown up the team. Good. <laughs> they were shit anyway. It's about time we get rid of Josh Beckett and Kyle Crawford. <clears throat> yep, that's all I gotta say. Gonna miss uh, Adrian Gonzalez, though. And Nick Punto, he was just there. Hell of a utility man, though. So, anyway, time to blow the shit up. You know what? Might as well. Red Sox weren't winning with their $191 million payroll, so I'm sure there's more to come. But I'm out of here. See y'all tomorrow. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.